Hello, this is Shabd from ASVIC and uh, today we will look at uh, the Django Forms tutorial. It uh, will take a very basic look at what Django Forms are, how do we use them in views and how do we use them in templates. So, uh, Django Forms are always subclasses of forms.form. So, for example, uh, like models are always subclasses of models.model. The forms should be a subclass of forms.forms. Or it could be a, a subclass of forms dot model form, which is a form which knows about its associated model. So here we ha we it's a, it's not a model form; it's just a simple form. Uh, uh, corresponding uh, to the attributes here, a number of HTML elements would get created when it's used. So uh, 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 here it's a contact form, so you need subject, message sender, and CC, etc. So uh, all these are, uh, are attributes on this form. So corresponding to the subject, which is a forms dot char field, uh, uh, a char uh, character field would get created on uh, in, in the HTML when we use it. So here, cc myself is a forms dot boolean field. So a checkbox field would get created in the uh, template. So a uh, 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 Django form is nothing but a representation of a HTML form which knows how to bind data and which knows how to validate data. So here this would go probably in a file called forms.py uh, which contains all your forms. Your forms uh, are by themselves not very useful so they need to be used in a view. So this uh, uh, this function is going to be in your views.py probably. And you would generally use in, it in a standard uh, standard uh, way wherein uh, if it's a get you just display an unbound form and when it's a post you will bind the data which is coming from request.post to the form validate whether, whether the form is valid and then process the data and then do a, 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 resp a redirect uh, to uh, uh, conform to the get after post pattern so let's see if uh, uh, here if we're just showing it it requires that uh, method post will be false and it will come here and it will be an unbound form and this is the template where it gets displayed so this will be part of your template which uh, is going to be named contact.html here so in your template you might be extending a base template and other things but this fragment is probably going to be there your forms would go within a html form like this uh, and the action needs to be specified manually and because we are handling uh, the data uh, handling in a post so method should be set as post your, your uh, forms would probably always use the CSRF token to defend against the CSRF forgery attacks and then forms.asp will create the uh, will actually uh, render the form uh, as a HTML here and then input type equal to submit to actually submit the form so when you do a post you come here the data which you entered there gets bound to this via contact form request.post and then if your all data uh, uh, was bound correctly you fill in all the things your form that is valid would be true and you would return you know, you'll handle the data and do a, a response to redirect but in case it was invalid you will uh, it will be rendered come here and it will be rendered with a you know, with a bound but invalid form which will show you the errors which happened and the validation errors for some things was empty or something did not match a regular expression and that kind of errors can be detected which will show up in form.asp